Just because you've seen Taylor Lautner with the shirt off a thousand times doesn't mean you know him all that well. How did he almost lose his most iconic role? How has TikTok helped restart his career? Here are all the details of Taylor Lautner's stunning transformation. Taylor Lautner was born to Deborah and Daniel Lautner on February 11, 1992, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He grew up in the suburb of Hudsonville, alongside his younger sister McKenna. The two remain close to this day. His dad was a pilot, and his mom worked for a software company. He had a happy and peaceful childhood, though he did reveal to MLive that his house burned down when he was just four years old. Luckily, no one was injured in the blaze. According to Rolling Stone, Lautner attended Catholic Church as a child, and his parents instilled in him a strong work ethic. As a result, he spent much of his childhood playing football and baseball. However, karate was his primary athletic focus growing up. Lautner began participating in martial arts when he was just six years old. By the time he turned seven, MMA Underground reports that he took first place in three events at his first national tournament. In a 2018 interview on The Jonathan Ross Show, Lautner shared the heights of his accomplishments in the sport. I became a black belt at the age of 10. Wow. And then um, when I stopped doing it at 14, I was a four-time world champion. Lautner says that his coach, Mike Chatterontabut, encouraged him to give acting a shot and even offered the Lautner family a place to stay in Los Angeles while he went to auditions. Chatterontabut truly believed in Lautner from the beginning, and when his pupil achieved success in films, he assured Rolling Stone that Lautner had trained extremely hard to attain his skills in martial arts and acting. At the very beginning of his career, Lautner mostly won minor roles in commercials and on sitcom television shows such as The Bernie Mac Show and My Wife and Kids. He also performed voiceover work on childhood favorites Danny Phantom and What's New Scooby-Doo. Unfortunately for Lautner, as his acting career progressed, he became subject to bullying at school. He told Rolling Stone, When I was in school, there was a little bullying going on. Not physical bullying, but people making fun of what I do. I just had to tell myself I can't let this get to me. This is what I love to do, and I'm going to continue doing it." After a string of minor roles, Lautner got his first big break as one of the titular characters in 2005's The Adventures of Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Directed by Spy Kids director Robert Rodriguez, the film allowed Lautner to show off his martial arts skills in its various fight sequences, though Rodriguez only learned of the young star's athletic prowess after he'd already been cast. A young Lautner told Access Hollywood that he was so excited, he lost sleep after booking the job. He felt optimistic that a film by someone as accomplished as Rodriguez would do well at the box office, and went on to say he hoped to take on some more dramatic roles in the years to come. Despite all his enthusiasm, The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl wasn't the career boon Lautner hoped it would be. Box Office Mojo reports that the film didn't perform very well in theaters. Thankfully, Lautner's feature debut's reception would not impede his career for long. Though Lautner had a few roles after Shark Boy, none would skyrocket him to worldwide fame until the iconic fantasy romance Twilight came along. He recalled to MLive that his agent first told him that the role of Jacob Black, protagonist Bella Swan's best friend, was available. Still, Lautner didn't grasp how much of a phenomenon the movie would become until he was already in the casting process. When he finally got wind of excitement surrounding the upcoming film, he wanted the role even more. Lautner told Rolling Stone that no one involved in the film realized how successful it would become. While people would tell Lautner and his co-stars they expected Twilight to be a hit, it wasn't until the movie came out that Lautner realized how big it was actually going to be. According to Box Office Mojo, Twilight made more than $400 million worldwide, and Lautner became a globally recognized actor as a result. While the first Twilight movie was an overnight success, the real vampire werewolf mania didn't begin until the sequels were released, and Lautner nearly missed out. In New Moon, the second installment of the Twilight saga, Jacob Black gains insane muscle mass due to his transformation as a werewolf. There were reportedly initial doubts that Lautner could physically transform the way his character needed. Ashley Green, who portrayed vampire Alice Cullen in the films, explained on her podcast that pretty much all the film stars could have been replaced at that point in the franchise. While she's unsure of whether or not they had an alternative actor lined up for the part of Jacob, he confirmed that the filmmakers did express doubts regarding his ability to bulk up. Lautner managed to prove everyone wrong. According to Rolling Stone, he secured his job by drinking protein shakes, eating a lot, and training for several months to put on 20 pounds of muscle. His transformation was so profound, even Bella Swan was impressed. Hello, biceps. You know, anabolic steroids are really bad for you. When he emerged, he undoubtedly looked the part of a super buff werewolf. Reflecting on what it was like while his job security was still up in the air, Lautner told MTV, "...honestly, if I would have let myself get to that darkest moment, it wouldn't have been good. So I tried to focus on what I could control the whole time and not let whatever was going on outside get to me. And that's what I did." 
With the increasing success of the subsequent Twilight movies, Taylor Lautner's popularity only continued to rise. He won the People's Choice Award for Best Breakout Movie Actor in 2010 and hosted an episode of Saturday Night Live. He was ranked number two on Glamour UK's Sexiest Men of 2010 list, losing the top spot to his Twilight co-star and on-screen rival, Robert Pattinson. The public could not get enough of Lautner, and the paparazzi and fans alike constantly followed him. He's told some interesting fan stories throughout the years. For example, he told Jay Leno a woman asked him to sign her underwear. He also told Reuters another fan got his signature tattooed on her arm. Lautner also acted in other projects in between his stints as a werewolf. He starred in 2010's Valentine's Day and 2011's Abduction the former of which saw him playing opposite his real-life girlfriend at the time, Taylor Swift. By then, Lautner was a globally recognized household name. After the Twilight hype died down, Taylor Lautner did his best to keep a low profile. The extreme level of fame that he achieved seemingly overnight was overwhelming to the young actor. Hordes of screaming fans would follow him everywhere he went. He told Today that he didn't go to a movie theater, mall, or grocery store for 10 years to avoid being recognized. Even if he did leave the house, he'd need to wear a hat and sunglasses in hopes of not being harassed. In the same interview, he also reflected on the fickle nature of fame. Lautner observed that in the height of his popularity, he felt stress because he wanted to live a peaceful life day to day. However, when the public's obsession with him died down, he began to feel insecure and second-guessing whether he still mattered to the world at large. You start to question yourself and start to be like, oh, do people not care about me anymore? After the Twilight movies wrapped, Taylor Lautner continued to act, mostly in smaller budget films like Tracers and Run the Tide. He also appeared in two movies for Adam Sandler's production company, Happy Madison, Grown Ups 2, and The Ridiculous Six. Oh, dang! He fell down his pooper! <laughs> He also joined the cast of Scream Queens for its second season, playing Dr. Cassidy Cascade. He also held a recurring role on the BBC sitcom Cuckoo. After the series wrapped, Lautner took a long break from acting and wouldn't be seen on screen again for a few years. Upon returning from his hiatus, he told Today that he feels a lot better acting again. In 2020, Netflix released We Can Be Heroes, a spin-off of The Adventures of Sharkboy and Lava Girl, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Fans of the original film were excited that the OG Lava Girl, Taylor Dooley, would be returning. However, they were disappointed that Taylor Lautner was being replaced. When asked why he decided not to reprise his debut film role, he told Screen Rant, "...you know, it just was during a point in my life where I took a step back to focus on things that were important in my life, and that was my family and my friends and my fiancé." In a later interview with Decider, Rodriguez explained that he did let Lautner know about the spin-off while it was in the works. However, Sharkboy is not the focus of the film. In fact, his character doesn't have any lines, and his face is covered by a mask the entire time. Rodriguez was concerned that, if Lautner was in the film, these factors might look like an insult toward the actor. In 2021, Taylor Lautner and his girlfriend of three years, Taylor Dome, got engaged. The proposal was elaborate and romantic, and, according to Access, Dome was said to be so overcome with emotion that she reportedly couldn't speak. Lautner explained that Dome had initially requested a simple proposal, but he still got creative with the tools that he had. While he popped the question in their kitchen, he took a simple gesture to the next level by including flowers, candles, and a neon sign asking for her hand in marriage. As for the whole having the same name thing, Lautner has joked to several outlets that marrying someone who shares his first name was in his own self-interest. I'm so narcissistic <laughs> that I wanted to marry somebody so I could just call them Taylor Lautner. While Lautner acknowledges that having the same first and last name will get complicated, the appreciation the couple displayed for one another on social media seems like it will be worth the confusion. The COVID-19 pandemic ushered in the Twilight Renaissance, a resurgence of the fandom's love for everything Twilight. The resurrection of Twilight can be seen on TikTok, where one of Taylor Lautner's lines as Jacob became a meme. Bella, where the hell have you been, loca? Lautner even stopped by The Tonight Show to recreate the scene with host Jimmy Fallon. Lautner reflected on the renewal of Twilight's popularity during a January 2022 interview with ET Online. He explained that, until recently, most of the fans that would reach out to Lautner were Twi Moms, the now grown-up generation of original Twilight fans. He told People that more recently, a younger generation of Twilight fans have emerged, and he's once again being stopped by teenagers in the streets. Luckily, it seems that Lautner is now in a more comfortable place regarding his fame and public recognition. Taylor Lautner's years-long break from acting ended when he returned to the screen for the Netflix comedy Home Team, starring alongside Kevin James. The film is based on the true story of NFL coach Sean Payton's one-year suspension for his role in the 2012 Bounty Gate scandal, during which he assisted in coaching his son's middle school football team. 
Lautner plays the sixth grade team's coach, Troy Lambert. The role was a perfect fit for Lautner, given his love of football and his real-life friendship with Peyton. Lautner told the cider he really enjoyed the process of filming the movie, as he knew his co-stars and the people the film was about quite well. Lautner also expressed to ComingSoon.net that joining the home team cast was an easy decision, as he loves working with Adam Sandler and the Happy Madison team. He enjoys the production company so much, he even stated, "'I'll say yes to a Happy Madison project for the rest of my life." He also added that working with the kids who portrayed his character's team was a fun experience. He felt sympathy and nostalgia for the time when he was in their shoes as a young actor and athlete, and was excited to befriend and collaborate with the next generation. Lautner has been enjoying what appears to be a far more low-key lifestyle since his werewolf days have ended, and now he has a fiancé and two dogs to enjoy it with. During a brief interview at the 2022 CMT Awards, Lautner noted that his favorite ways to spend his free time include hanging out with his fiancé and friends. On their respective Instagram pages, Lautner and Dome can often be seen hanging out at concerts, games, on the beach, and around their house, and even at country music events like the 2022 CMT Awards, where Lautner presented an award. Fans will be happy to see this former teen heartthrob is no longer feeling the pressures of Hollywood and is apparently living his best life. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about Taylor Lautner are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.